It says pray. Not like, you know, a prayer a day to keep the devil away. Not like a prayer over your meal, just cause that's what your mama did and your grandmama did and that's what you're supposed to do. Not something quick and casual. Fervent, prioritized prayer. Y'all, you can't have victory if you don't pray. Do you hear what I'm saying to you? Prayer is the key that unlocks the resources of heaven so that they can be unleashed on planet Earth. Prayer is the key he's actually given you to get all the good stuff down here. Because I don't know about you, but I don't want to wait to get to heaven to experience all that God has for me. Any bits of heaven he plans to give me on earth, I want it right now. Prayer accesses the bits of heaven he intends to give you now. And prayer, listen, prayer is what pushes the kingdom of darkness back. It's what pushes it back. That's why Jesus said, my house shall be called not a house of good preaching, not a house of good singing, not a house of great spotlights and production, not a house of great cafes. I hope you have all of that. Enjoy it. But Jesus said at the end of the day, my house better be called a house of prayer. Because spotlights and fog machines and great singing and great preaching, that won't necessarily push the kingdom of darkness back. But when my people who are called by my name, when they will humble themselves and when they'll pray, he says that I'm going to hear from heaven. I'm going to heal the land. The enemy will have to bend the knee at the name of Jesus in prayer.